What, Sheriff, do, do you and your fellow uh, law enforcement officers, what do you make of the fact that President Biden and Vice President Harris have not actually yet gone to the border? I mean, optically, it's an issue, certainly, but it seems like the media hasn't really paid a ton of attention to it. And, um, yeah, what is public sentiment among, as, as you say, law enforcement officers about the fact that they seem to be ignoring this crisis altogether? Ah. Are we having a community? Well, Sophie, oh, it's an insult. It's okay. an insult to anybody who wears a badge at the local level. level. I'm sorry about that. Sophie, it's an insult to uh, badge, carriers, badge carriers and federal badge carriers. We're down here doing the best we can to secure our borders, our country, and then we get no response. Look at the State of the Union by President Biden. He never even mentioned border security. He talked about migrant uh, surge, but he also talked about defunding that did not talk about how we secure the border and applaud those that are down here doing the best we can. Again, it goes back to that is an insult to what we're doing down here. I call it intellectual avoidance. They know what's going on because 20 governors of the United States have wrote a letter. Sheriffs have wrote letters. Uh, federal law enforcement associations have wrote letters. Attorney generals, you name it, the media. Everybody's talked about this, but I'm telling you, the ones not responding is President Biden and Vice President Harris. We need them to engage in this issue, share a uh, message, prioritize our borders, and let's start focusing on the cartels, the criminal enterprise that's exploiting our families and our communities. 220 people die every day of drug overdoses. The drugs that are coming in our country right now is horrific.